Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to keyword optimize the slug of your WordPress page or post to help it rank better for your target keyword. Now before you do this, you should have researched your keywords already. If you haven't done that, there's a video below this video that I linked to that shows you how to do your keyword research using the Google Keyword Planner. There's also a video below that that will show you how to install the Yoast SEO plugin, which is one you'll want to have installed, which it helps greatly for SEO. So if you have those two things done, I'm gonna show you right now how to optimize the slug for your WordPress post. So the slug is everything that appears after the forward slash that comes after your top level domain extension, which in my case is a .com. And to edit the slug, just click on the edit button. And then it turns into a text field and you can edit the, the slug all you want. So what you wanna make sure that you do is you have to have your keyword as close to the beginning as possible. And pretty much in every case, you could have the keyword at the beginning. So for example, if you have a how-to post, so it might be something like this, you can delete the how-to and just get to your main keyword. My main keyword for this post is wp-spamshield. And a supplemental keyword that I have for this post is anti-spam plugin, which I want to keep in there. And the how-to I want to keep in there for, it's not for SEO purposes, but it's actually for Facebook retargeting. But that's the topic of a, of a much different video. But the point is, the only text that should appear in the slug are your keywords. There's, there's things called stop words, like and, or, if, there's a whole bunch of them. If you Google stop words, you'll get a, or Google SEO stop words, you get a whole list of words that shouldn't appear in the slug because when Google encounters them, more often than not, they stop reading the rest of the slug, which you don't want. You want them to read the whole thing. The keys to optimizing your slug, your keyword at the very beginning, a related keyword, if possible, and that should be everything in your slug. In my case, I added the how-to for retargeting, which you may want to do as well, but if you're not doing retargeting, just your keywords in the, the slug, and your title will be different. Your title will be more readable, but for the slug, again, just the keywords. I can't emphasize that enough. You don't want extraneous things in there. That's how you optimize the slug for your WordPress posts. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, Share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome videos just like this, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.